Hey, it's Bernard from acetennisonline.com. In this video, I'm going to show you three tips to improve your return of serve. The return is one of the most important shots in tennis because it gets the point started. If you can't start the point, you can't win the point. So let's make sure that's the basis and the foundation of the return. Uh, tip number one, get low, stay low. Especially against a bigger server, you want to try to get low. Now, we're going to take a look at the returner down here. And this player is a player, used to be a player for Stanford, and he's about six foot five. So take a look at, maybe even six, six, and take a look at how low he gets on that return. By getting low and staying low on the return, you're going to greatly improve your balance and your control over that return. So as you get lower, you lower your center of gravity, making it much easier for you to be balanced and stay in control over faster serves. And look at how much knee bend he has. Like I said, he's a very tall player, and his knees are bent just a little bit more than 90 degrees there. So that's a lot of knee bend for a tall player like that. So get low, stay low to improve your balance and your control. Tip number two. Don't forget, hit like and subscribe if you want more great coaching videos to level up your game. Tip number two is split before contact, not at contact. And I've seen a lot of players and a lot of coaches teach this or learn this in the wrong way. If you think about it, if you split at contact, you jump into the air at contact, you're in the air when that ball's coming off your opponent's racket, and you land when that ball's probably already across the net on your side, and that's way too late for you to split. And that way you have very little time to actually land and move to that ball. So if you split before contact, you jump before contact, you're in the air at contact, you land shortly after that ball comes off your opponent's racket, and that way you're able to move earlier and efficiently, and you're going to have a much easier time getting to that next shot. Now, let's take a look at this, at the returner here. Okay, and I want you to take a look at, as our returner here is just starting to jump, look at whether his opponent has made contact yet. His opponent has not made contact yet, and that part is crucial. So, jump before contact. Now, let's take a look at contact, about right here. Our player here is in the air, as you can see, he's just a little bit off the ground, and that means at con sorry, right after that ball's coming off the strings, the returner is landing. Ball hasn't crossed the net yet. You're, the returner is landing, and now he's easily able to take that first step on time. Now, it's a body serve, so he doesn't have to cover a lot of distance, but he's still able to move out of the way early enough to, get, to move efficiently to the ball, and that part is crucial. So tip number two, split before contact, not at contact. Tip number three, make sure you take a nice compact swing. So let's take a look at that. So really think about taking half a swing. Tennis, especially on the return of serve, and especially if you're playing a big server, is a sport of absorbing pace. So you're really trying to absorb the pace that your opponent gives you and use it against them. And an easy way to look at this, and I want you to film yourself uh, next time you hit some returns, take a look at tips one and two as well, but take a look at how far your elbow is going back. So as you take it back, oops, wrong line, as you take it back, your elbow should be going back, should be in line with your back. Your elbow shouldn't be a whole lot closer to the fence, fence back here, then you're back. So which means if you're taking your elbow back too far, chances are your swing is too big and it's going to be much harder to control that return. And you're probably not going to have time and you're going to get caught late and you're likely going to miss hit that ball. And keep in mind, our goal on the return is to get the point started. If you can't start the point, you can't win the point. Now on a second or a weaker serve, obviously we're looking to attack and take charge, but your basic goal is get the return in play. Now use those three tips. I have no doubt you're going to win a lot more points on the return. You're going to make it much harder for your opponent to hold serve, and you're going to make it easier for yourself to break. Film yourself to see what you're doing on the return. 
practice those three tips, and you're gonna play much smarter tennis. And don't forget, hit like and subscribe to help me level up your game. And you're gonna get a lot more coaching videos in different areas of your game. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.